396 degrees. That's 69 cents a month. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's right yet. Maybe I'll have to let it run a little longer. All right, what's going on friends? In this video, we are gonna be talking about this new diesel heater that I have here. Now this diesel heater is made by H Calorie. Now, I have one of their smaller diesel heaters right back in here, right behind me. This is pretty much the same thing as that, except pretty much everything is already put together for you. Only thing I pretty much have to do, 100% have to do, is hook up the exhaust pipe and pump the exhaust outside. You cannot run this with your exhaust inside either your garage or you cannot run your exhaust inside your car or your truck or your RV because it's not good for you. I'm gonna show you everything that did come in the box. You will get the heater and we'll open this up, show you a little bit inside. And I'm also gonna hook it up to my kilowatt meter and see how much power this thing does pull like on a low setting or a high setting. And I'm also gonna check some temperature settings, how hot that is on high and how hot it is on low. So we're gonna do a couple different things in this video. This is everything that comes in the box. You will get a really nice manual that's pretty easy to read. You'll get the heater that's pretty much all hooked up except for your exhaust and a couple other things that you may, not, may wanna hook up. We got, this should be for the, like, what I'd call like the cold air intake, little vent for your heat. Now this comes apart, I think. Now this is kind of set up, this part here, if you wanna put this in like your RV or your little a van or something if you're living in, that you could mount this right on your wall. I don't know if I'll even use that. And it does come with pipe for your exhaust. Now this is their Toolbox 2 heater too, in case I didn't tell you guys that, because they have a couple different ones out there. Now this pipe right here is gonna be the hook to right here where the hot air comes out, you can hook this up to 12 volt or hook this, actually plug this right into your wall in your house if you want to. So I'm not gonna plug this into 12 volt today. If you wanna hook this up to your van or your RV, you could use this plug. Bunch of little hose clamps. We might need some of them. They call this your air filter. I really don't think it filters much of the air, but it will keep maybe any bugs or anything or like bees or something going in your air your cold air intake if you have yours outside. So here's your little, they call this your silencer. I would call it your muffler. I don't know if I'm even gonna use that, but if you wanna make it quieter, you can hook that up. And then in this box is gonna be my plug. This is so I can plug this into 110, which I'm gonna plug into that kilowatt meter and see how much power this thing's pulling. And you also get to see my nice little thing that I built that goes in my window there where my exhaust goes outside. And if you're new to my channel, please, I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button to help support this channel because I, I cut my thumb building that, cutting a piece of aluminum. Had to get, I think, six or seven stitches in my thumb yesterday. That was not a good day. All right, let me get this thing opened up and I will show you a little bit what it looks like inside. Real simple, just pull up these two little clips. Pops open and we will have our fuel tank. This is the little heater itself. And then down under there, you will have right back in here, there's their fuel pump. This is where the exhaust comes out. It does have some, like, looks like some insulation around that exhaust, because that exhaust does get hot. You got your fuel line here, this green line. And before you start burning it, there is a little remote control in here, so don't forget to take that out. This also does have an app on it, so you can use your cell phone. So I'll get that app downloaded on my phone and I will show you some of that app also. The app, if it's anything, I'm pretty sure it's the same exact app as I used for this one. It is a really, really simple, easy app to use. I, I really love it. Some of this stuff I cannot stand having an app for everything, but the app for this is really, really simple. Yeah, this is a six liter tank. That's about, about a gallon and a half, a little bit more than a gallon and a half of fuel. So when I dump it in here, I'm actually gonna go by gallons because I live in the US. I'm gonna dump in like a half a gallon of fuel and then I'm gonna mark it. Dump in another half a gallon, mark it. So I'll know how much fuel I'm burning because I plan on trying to do maybe another video on how much fuel this thing burns on a low setting and a high setting. Right on top here's where you're gonna fill the fuel. Pretty simple. Then we have our little screen here where you can adjust all the different settings. And another th neat thing you can do in these, this diesel heater is if you live in a 
like a higher alt a higher altitude, like your state is a little bit higher of an altitude, you can adjust the altitude on this thing so it will burn more efficient. But I'm good to go. I can leave it right where it's at here in PA, where I'm from. This air comes in here and it blows out here. That's what's going to heat your room. This one, this port down here, the air is going to come in. That's going to go into the burn chamber and then it's going to get exhaust out this end. So pretty much all air gets exhausted out this end. All air gets sucked into this end. We do have some vents on this side. So I'm going to get this hooked up, the exhaust hooked up, and I'll just show you what I did. It's really simple. It's pretty much a hose clamp, hose clamp for that. Don't cut your finger with a utility knife. It's not a good idea. All right, I got my tank all filled up. I got the half a tank, one gallon and one and a half gallons of fuel. And like it does say in the manual, you can get six liters, which is a little more than one and a half gallons. Cause it looks like I could put just a little bit more in there, but I'm gonna leave mine at one and a half gallons. I don't think I'm gonna do it in this video, but I do plan on trying to make a video on how much this does burn. Make sure you use a funnel. All right, I got everything all hooked up and like you've seen, I do have all the fuel in it and marked. So I got the, now when you're looking at this, you fill the fuel on this side. So on this side is where I'm gonna, I hooked up my, the hose that's gonna blow all my hot air. That's what's gonna heat wherever you got it. So we're, like today it's gonna heat my garage. I got my exhaust pipe hooked up down here. The hose clamp is on good and tight. And then on this side, I did hook up this. This is like, like I said, I'm gonna call this the cold air intake. And uh, there's a little bracket that comes with it. I put it up here at the top, but I don't really ha think you have to hook this up, but I did hook it up. So, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the app and show you everything running on the app. All right, I got all my exhaust hooked up and I got the, I got the AC plug hooked up cause I'm gonna hook, just plug it into 110. So let me plug this in to my kilowatt meter so we can kind of see approximately either, this also will show me how much electricity I'm using. Let's get this thing fired up. I got the power button. I just hold it in. There we go. Now you'll see on the app, it shows the same thing. I have it on like speed five and it's on five and it's showing the fans blowing right there. Oh, there it goes. And they're showing a, like a blue and a red. So it's trying to ignite. I'm going to open this up. Just take a peek inside. I don't think it would hurt to open this up when you first light one of these up to watch the fuel and the fuel line. Make sure nothing is leaking inside here because you got your fuel, your pump that is down here. So far, everything looks good. I think I'm okay. I'm going to shut this back up. Ooh, there it goes. Now it's saying running. Now I think we got ignition. We're starting to make some heat. First time lighting this off, you may get a little bit of a smell. They say there's a little bit of oil on some of the metal parts inside. So some of that oil is probably gonna burn off first couple times you run it. Now she's really pumping. And it says right here on the app on your phone, you can see the body temperature, which I think is the temperature inside here. So that's gonna, yeah, it's starting to go up really fast. Now it's 100. And the ambient temperature is the temperature inside my garage right now. 110, 115, she's heating up fast. Sweet, it is set to Fahrenheit, that's good. So I can go to here. We can switch this to Celsius, Fahrenheit, feet or meters. I'm gonna put mine to feet and Fahrenheit. You can change your uh, different languages. This is your altitude. Different timer settings. If you want to set this to turn on and off at different times, they're showing 226 degrees now. Oh yeah, now she's blowing some hot air. Sweet. It looks like coming out of that hose, it's like 110 degrees, 114. 
Now, if I would get all the way into the heat exchanger, it's definitely way, way hotter. Like it's saying on the app itself, 277 degrees. Whew, she's heating up fast. 147, 146, 145, definitely hot. Whew, it's gonna make me hot. That's only on, let's turn it all the way up. This winter when it gets down to like, say 25, 30 degrees here in Pennsylvania, I'd like to see if I can heat my garage up a little bit with this. I believe I could heat my garage. Now, I have a big garage, but it is insulated really, really well. Hit that subscribe button to watch for that video. All right, let's turn on this carbon monoxide detector. Hold the power button. This is a really cool carbon monoxide detector. It says right in the manual, manual what all your safe settings are and stuff. And oh, it's going through all its testing. LCD, the light, the buzzer, the vibrator. It does that every time you start it up. Let's see if it brings anything up coming out of the hot air. Not showing anything, showing zero parts per million, which is what I want. I'll take this out and I'll show you it right by the exhaust. Whew can't stand there too long. It's crazy. I can't believe the amount of heat. Let's see if it's, it's 170 degrees, 176, 177. Now this is it running on high. Let's see. Yeah, I still have it on setting 10 and I am pulling, let's see. That's my rate here in PA. I don't know if it's different now. Right now this is showing now I'd have to let this run a little longer to really get an accurate reading, but it's showing 69 cents a month. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's right yet. Maybe I'll have to let it run a little longer. 16 cents a week. That's crazy. <laughs> 0.02 cents. So right now I am pulling 41, about 41 watts running this on high. It barely is pulling any electricity. Now let me slow it down to the lowest setting. Shoot, it's hot. There's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're all the way on one. That's the lowest setting. Still showing zero parts per million, which is good. I like to have this to check it, or you can get something like this. I gotta go turn this on outside. I think I have to turn this on in really nice clear air. Nice to have this because I have seen where people said different things in here. Not, not saying this one, but I have seen people say that some of these diesel heaters, I don't know so much H calorie, but other diesel heaters out there have known to have little leaks. So I don't think it's a bad idea just to check it with any stuff. like Anything you have like this, I don't think it's a bad idea to have stuff like this. Let me take you outside and we will check the exhaust and see what kind of parts per million that's showing. And I'll show you what my exhaust looks like out there. All right, this is what my exhaust looks like out here. We'll put this right in front of the exhaust. And watch that come up. Here you go, 10, 11, 12, coming up fast. we got alarms going off. These things must burn pretty clean. Not very loud on low. Maybe I'll go, let me go turn it on high and we'll see how loud it is. And I'll bring my temperature gauge out to see how hot that is around there. All right, let me turn this thing up on high and we'll see how loud it is outside. Now, you can put this silencer on the end and it does definitely make it, does make it a lot more quiet. If you watch my other video on my other diesel heater, like this one right here, I do show me putting the silencer on. Actually, I have a whole different setup there. I wanna see what my exhaust temperature looks like. It's right on the exhaust pipe itself. It's showing about 80 degrees, 81. Yeah, the, my, the wood around it is only showing like 70 degrees, 76. I think I might put a little bit of insulation around that, also around that wood, just to make that a little more, a little more safe. Let's go outside and see how hot it is on the outside. 
definitely still reading in safe levels. So that's good. I really like this little thing. And it has a really nice instruction manual. So I'll throw one of these down in the description if you want to check that out. All right, before I turn this all the way up to the high temperature again, and we'll go outside and see how hot that is and how hot the exhaust gets here, I'll show you how much electricity this is running on low, showing it's only running 10 watts on low. That's pretty dang low, 10 watts. And so far just messing around with this because I've been turning it up and down. I've run that I only had to run, use two cents a day. So if I let this thing run all day long, I'm gonna use less than two cents or two cents. <laughs> That's what it says. Eight, 18 cents a week, 77 cents a month. Now you'd have to buy fuel for it. So diesel ain't real cheap. I don't know how much fuel I'd use in one day on low or one day on high, but I do plan on doing that video to see how much fuel I would use on this on low and like a high setting. Make sure you hit that bell. I don't know when I'll do that video, probably sometime this winter when it actually gets cold out so I don't have to feel like I'm wasting all this heat. I can't smell smell nothing coming out of that other than hot air. If, it's, if hot air has a smell, I don't know. All right, let's crank this thing up and see what kind of temperatures I'm getting on my exhaust pipe. And I'll let this go for a little bit, see what the highest temperatures I can get coming out my, my like heat tube here, whatever you want to call that. Eight, nine, 10. My other one I think only has six settings. This one actually has 10. Let's let that get heated up a little bit and then we'll check some of them temperatures. All right, definitely heated up now. I've been running for a little while. But these exhaust, the, or the heat port heat tube is about three and a half inches. That is definitely got a nice tube for heating. Cause I know my other one is, I have some of it left over here. All right, this, this is what come on the other H calorie, which is a little bit smaller of one. Yeah, that one's only three inches. This one has really nice large heat tube on it. If that's what you want to call it. Still reading zero parts per million in here. Let me check what some of the temperatures are now with this running on high for, I don't know, I probably had it running for good 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Yeah, it's reading 180 degrees, 185, 188. It's showing the aluminum body temperature to be 396 degrees. That's inside this thing. The exhaust port is Uh, 140, 150, 105, 109. <clears throat> now this is what it sounds like outside. White showing 68, 71. Great right inside is 80, 90, 80, 80, 90. 140, 120. It's a little louder now running on high. None of this stuff around here seems like it's getting hot. All right, one last time since I've been messing around with this, it's regist registering 26 cents, 26 cents a week to run this on electricity. Yeah, it doesn't count the diesel alone, but so it really, really uses hardly any electricity. All right, that's it for this video. Hope this video helped you out with showing you and introducing you to these really, really cool H calorie diesel heaters. Now you could buy this little toolbox two heater like this, or like I showed you, they also do also have some little, some ones like this that you have to do a little bit more work because you have to hook up the fuel pump. You have to hook all this stuff up, but you can kind of do your own thing with that one. And then you could take the fuel tank, and kind of put the fuel tank wherever you want. Plus it comes with a lot bigger fuel tank, but it is a little bit smaller of a heater. Does definitely make some heat. I will link that video at the end of this video if you want to watch a video on that. Cause I did also burn used oil in that. I don't know if that's good for it. A lot of people are saying that's not a good idea. So I'm probably going to start putting just regular diesel in there. I mean, only thing it could do is probably really mess it up and I'd have to clean it all out and then replace a couple parts but may not be a good idea to use use oil in there but it did burn that was 50 percent oil 50 percent diesel 
that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Throw me a comment down below, even if it's just tell me where you guys live. I really like reading all these comments to see where you guys live. Do you live somewhere where it's really, really cold? Somewhere where it's really, really hot? I really like to be somewhere myself someday in the winter months where it's nice and warm because I'm really getting sick of these cold Pennsylvania winters. Uh, or I should, we've been getting pretty lucky the last couple winters, but give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. God bless and have a good heating season. All right, I've had this heater running for like probably about an hour on high because I've just been wanting to check where my exhaust goes through the through that wood right there. And I'm trying to read it with this, but I think it's kind of messing it up because my exhaust is so close to it. But I can put my finger back there. I can put my finger right here. It's not even hot hardly. I put my fingers down here and that wood's not even hot. I definitely think it's safe going through there like that. I still try want to try to do a, a video on how much fuel I burn running this on high and running on low. And it'd be nice if I could heat my garage at the same time.